Excellent. Uh, welcome, everybody. As we're joining the call, uh, we have a handful of you coming in. I'm Logan Paulson, manager for the leadership programs team, and we're so excited to have you uh, with us on this call on this amazing Friday afternoon or evening, wherever you're tuning in from. If you're on the East Coast over there, uh, similar to our guest speaker, um, we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a second. But if you don't mind letting us know where you're tuning in from right now, Where's your city, state? We want to know who's on the call. Give us a shout out. Um, who's your project manager uh, from the leadership programs team? Give them a shout out as well. We've got uh, currently on the call with us from our team, uh, Hayir, the Northeast project manager, Amy, our central project manager, Tyler, our Southeast project manager, Rebecca, who's Mountain and most of specific, Pacific, sorry, not specific, Pacific region. Uh, little tongue twister there for me. And uh, April as well for our North America Chinese language um, region as well. Um, and I'm gonna introduce my boss and our amazing senior manager here in just a second as we See where everyone's coming from. We got Arizona, people shouting out Tyler and Hayir. I love it. We've got Wisconsin, Canadians from Calgary, Alberta. That's awesome. California, Michigan. We've got people all over in Pennsylvania, Idaho, South Carolina, Ohio. I love to see every region kind of jumping in here. Um, do we have anybody from Hawaii? Did I miss that? Any of our people on the islands? Uh, Illinois, New Jersey. DC, more Ontario, Alberta, there we go. Awesome, well, thank you all so much for uh, joining us again. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce my senior manager and someone who just loves these leadership programs and has been here really leading and guiding uh, our team and these programs over the last several years. Uh, it's been an honor to work with her um, and develop and grow these programs. It's the amazing Melanie Silva. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Happy Aloha Friday, as we would say, from my home of Hawaii. Um, and we are just so excited to be with all of you here on this call. And thank you so much, Logan. Logan's my right hand man here. Um, with leadership programs and he always brings the fun to the team and to all of leadership programs. So appreciate him so much. Hello from Provo, Utah. Anyways, and so again, so grateful to have all of you here and all of our amazing project managers from every region representing. Um, we just had a blast this week. I want to give a shout out to our amazing team to, who put together our amazing education week. So I'm not sure if everyone has been able to get onto our Facebook page, but they did a great job. And those um, videos that they shared in our avatars just have been so much fun. And so this week just has been so much fun and so amazing. And um, we get to end it with our amazing leader, um, Nicole Almeida, who is a blue diamond leader. Um, she is also a Founders Club 2.0. So shout out to her for that amazing, 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 amazing um, status as well. Um, she's been a Diamond Club graduate. Um, she's a Silver Club winner. Um, we've had her on our calls before and she just has great amazing positive energy uh, we love hearing from her she's also got a great tan going out on there she's been able to enjoy some fun in florida i'm quite jealous um but it's always just so good to hear from her and just the wealth of knowledge that she has to share she's been with doTERRA for quite some while i think since 2015 or, or something like that so she's been with us for a while and She's just one of our amazing leaders who continues to just be such a great example. And uh, we're just thrilled to have her on this call today. She just was sharing with us how she's been on many, many, many calls today. And so 
we're grateful that she was able to spend this time with us as I know she's really, really busy leading her team and taking the charge. And so today, Nicole is going to be sharing um, with us just her tips and tricks um, for getting new enrollments, which I know for Silver Club has been um, can, has been a challenge for some people, right? Because you are just learning the basics, basically. And so and Silver Club Leadership Programs, this is kind of a new adventure for you. And so Nicole is going to um, share with you some of her best tips on getting new enrollments and also closing after a class, which also has been, I know, a hot topic for us as, again, our Silver Club participants are um, getting to learn, you know, some of those basic things in their business um, so that they can just set that path for um, a solid foundation with their doTERRA business. So we're grateful for you, Nicole. We can't wait to hear from you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much from all of leadership programs. Again, we love hearing from you and you have been one of our favorites. So the time is all yours, Nicole. Awesome. Thank you, Melanie, for that sweet introduction. I am super excited to be here. I have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and just get um, a slideshow up because I did create just some slides to keep me better, more so to keep me on track. Um, and um, speaking to um, like specific points that I want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, share my slideshow. Can you guys see it? Are we good? good? Okay, awesome. Um, I just kind of put that there for a spot on the, but I'm going to start here. All right, I'm going to move <laughs> all these faces out of the way so I can actually see the PowerPoint. Um, okay. All right, so I'm super excited to be here. Like I said, um, thank you, Melanie. Thank you to the entire leadership team, all of the account managers. Um, it is always an honor uh, to be asked to speak. I love doing this. I love educating and inspiring and empowering um, because we all got started somewhere, right? And so um, actually in full transparency, this is actually my first season that I have um, team of my own who are participating in Silver Club. So I've had um, team participate in some other things that I've done um, but not Silver Club. However, I kind of wanted to take everyone back to where I got started because this may resonate with a lot of you, especially because maybe this is your first, you know, your very first season of Silver Club. So um, a little bit about how I got started with doTERRA. Um, my journey started back in January of 2015, and it start it started with my son, Trey. Um, and for those of you, I know there's probably a lot of you on here who don't know who I am. Um, I'm a Blue Diamond leader, a founder 2.0. I When I first came into doTERRA, I had absolutely zero interest in the business. Um, I came for the product. I was very interested in the product for my son, Trey. I am a mom of six. My kids range in age um, from 16 to 22. I'm married. I live in Florida. And I have been in the health and wellness industry for 25 years now. But I started as a personal trainer, a group fitness instructor, and then turned health coach. So the health arena wasn't new to me, but essential oils were. And so I was introduced back in January of 2015. Um, our son, Trey, who is our... Um, uh, fifth child. I almost said sixth. He's our fifth child. Um, he struggled really, really bad with um, just chronic ear infections, chronic allergy issues. And so I came into doTERRA looking for a solution, literally desperate to find a solution, which I did. Our story, um, which I'm not going to do a deep dive on today, but our story was nothing short of miraculous. Um, but even still, even after that miraculous story, I really wasn't interested in the business until the following year. So you'll notice that my second picture is in the spring of 2016. I was with doTERRA probably about um, 15 to 18 months um, when I finally said yes to the business opportunity. Um, and really, once I said yes, I was all in. Um, my my number one strength is achiever. And so when I say yes to something, I'm like, I'm all in. Um, and then, um, so I got started in 2016. I'll share a little bit more about that in the next slide. 
Um, and then in August of 2022, um, my husband and I became US founders, founders 2.0. So that was super exciting. But I want to share, I, I shared a little bit more about my journey um, I, because just for full transparency, where I started, because this is probably like where many of you are, right? So tw I started in 2016 with the business, 2017 was my very first leadership retreat. I qualified in December of 2016 as a silver. It was a 200 PV promo month. It was frankincense and I qualified as a silver. Um, I hit silver that month and I qualified for leadership, which by the way, I had absolutely no idea. I was kind of clueless um, as to what I was even getting myself into, but I went to leadership in 2017 and I, clearly remember sitting at my very first leadership and I remember the um the diamond walk. I remember watching the diamonds walk the stage and I remember sitting there that day and saying I want to be one of those. Like that's where I want to be next year. At this time I want to be on stage walking as a diamond. And so you'll notice that also on this slide I have my this is my very um, my original Diamond Club application approval, which was June 28th of 2017. So I went to leadership in February and in June I applied for Diamond Club. So that was the June 2017. It was going to be the fall um, Diamond Club of 2017. And then I want to show you the next picture, which is leadership 2018. I walked as a new diamond. Um, and I share this not because you know, I want to flaunt it, right? I, I share it because my whole point is when you decide and you commit to something and you want to do it, you can get there. I promise you. Um, I don't have a very active upline. Um, and so I think a lot of people always feel like, oh, I can't do this with an upline. I can't do this, you know, without an upline. I can't do this without a downline. I can't do this. There's so many things that we can let get in the way. And when I sat there at that leadership retreat in 2017, I said to myself, I want to be a diamond. And the very following year in at 2018, you'll see my, you see my, um, <laughs> my lanyard there. It's leadership retreat 2018 Orlando. And I walked as a new diamond. You'll notice that I won the incentive trip. Um, that was my very first incentive trip was the Dominican Republic. Um, I was a diamond club finisher, um, a new rank achieved and one of the top enrollers. So it is possible. And you'll notice there too, that's actually when they introduced these strengths. And you'll notice that my five strengths are, are listed there for those of you who are wondering. But my number one is achiever, um, competition, learner, focus, and discipline are my top five strengths. So let's, um, what I really wanted to do when Hayer reached out to me and he said, will you be our speaker? He said, can we talk about enrolling? Okay, enrolling and closing class, you know, closing. And I'm going to share a little bit about my journey with enrolling. Um, I am one of the top enrollers for doTERRA every single year. Um, since I committed to my doTERRA business and journey, I have been a top enroller. And I'm going to share with you the ABCs of why I feel that that's true, because there's a lot of different ways to enroll. There are so many different approaches to this business. There's classes, there's workshops, there's spa nights, there's one-on-ones. And what I feel is that every single person is different. Just like when it comes to our health, when we're trying to meet people where they're at with their health journey, every single person is, you know, there's bio-individuality. And that's true of, of everything, whether it's our health, whether it's our business, whether it's our approach to enrollments, every single person is different. But what I really think are the key elements to being a good person wellness advocate or a successful wellness advocate is literally as simple as ABC. And I just want to break that down for you today. And I'm going to leave some time at the end so that you can ask questions. But I really want you to just look at this as simple as ABC. Okay. So the first thing I want you to think about, the A is authenticity. Okay. Now, I know that this might sound, you know, juvenile, but I sh this is literally right from the Merriam-Webster Webster Dictionary. Okay. Authentic means not false or an imitation, true to one's own personality, spirit, or character. So essentially being authentic means to be an unedited version of yourself. And what I find in doTERRA 
so much is that people are trying to do things in a way that isn't authentic to them. And anytime we go out of that realm of something that's authentic to us, we try and do something that isn't truly who we are, um, we run into trouble because it's not who we are. It's not like it's not something that we would normally say or normally do or normally post. Um, you know, this can come down to whether you're doing things, you know, on in person, whether you're doing things online. I just think that it's so easy to get away from just being authentically who you are and trying to fit some sort of mold or into some sort of mold when it comes to this business. You know, there are there certain ways that you that this you can be successful at this business and do it, you know, similarly to other people. Absolutely. But you have to be authentically who you are. Um, and 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 you are going to shine when you lean into that authenticity. Um, so just a couple of notes that that you know I wanted to share. You know, are you being true to yourself every day? If you're edited and un if you're edited and unsure of yourself as a person, it will be difficult to stand out as a business owner. And then are you being true to yourself on social media? You have to be true to your personality and let it shine through. You you don't need to be like anybody else. You know, I I get people who will come to me all the time for mentoring and, you know, what do you think about you know, and, and and I'll let you fill in the blank. I don't want to call out any, you know, big name leaders, you know, who are big on social media or whatever. That's not my cup of tea. Um, it just isn't. Um, that's not who I am. I am always going to straight stay true to who I am. And honestly, I've leaned into that the entire time since I said yes to doing this business. I literally have adopted what I you know, I, have I taken bits of this and pieces of this and a nugget from here and a tidbit from here? Absolutely. But I never, I'm never going to go off of, of, of what I feel comfortable sharing or how I feel comfortable sharing. You know, when the whole world pivoted, of course, we all had to kind of do this big pivot, right? Um, just to be really clear, like I'm not on social media. I mean, I'm on social media, but I'm not I don't do the business on social media. And so it was really difficult, right? When like COVID hit in 2020, I was used to doing everything belly to belly. And I was like, whoa. Um, and I'm going to show you some statistics on that um, about what I mean in terms of like how my business like fluctuated a little bit until I really fell into, you know, a, a pattern for me. So being authentic, that's like, that's the A, that's like the number one. Okay. Number two, belief. You guys, belief in this business I'm going to share with you a belief pyramid, and I've used it for a really long time. I use it in my mentor calls. I use it for everything. Here's, again, according to the dictionary, um, belief means something one accepts as true or real, a firmly held opinion or conviction, trust, faith, or confidence in someone or something. And we need we need both of those in doTERRA. Okay, we we need belief in 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 a couple of different things in DoTerra, and I'm going to share with you what I mean by that. So, um, I love this. This is belief leads to resilience. Okay, um, the ability to resist, absorb, recover from, or successfully adapt to adversity or a change in conditions. And you guys, this is literally a picture from my neighborhood, okay? Um, I run, I love to run. Everyone's like, oh, you have such a, even Melanie, when she hopped on, she said, Nicole, you have such a great suntan. Um, you're in Florida. And I said, I am, I live in Florida. It's in the nineties right now already. It's April and it's already in the nineties here. Um, I don't go to the beach a whole heck of a lot, even though I live in Florida um, and I don't sit at the pool. I don't really have time for that. Like I said, I'm a mom of six. I have a super, super busy, busy doTERRA business. Um, and so I don't find myself out at the pool very often at all, or even at the beach. Um, but what I do do is I go for a run on a regular. Okay. So that's where my tan comes from. And I was out running one day and I'm running by this, this, um, uh, sign that you guys see here. It was a, a yield sign <clears throat> and look at what's growing up in like literally in the back from the from the center of the pole is like some roots that had gone up through the center of of the sign and i was like tell me that that is not resilience right like like how in the world it literally was like this tree growing out of the top of the sign and i was like 
wow, like that's resilience, right? I had to stop and take a picture of it. It was like amazing to me. And I'm thinking like, this is how we have to be in our business, right? Like when, even when the going gets tough, the tough get going, right? Like you just, you have to like really, really believe. Um, and, you know, I want to take you to this next. Oh, actually this is out of order. I was going to do this after my, my next one, but I'll share this with you anyway. We are talking about resilience, right? So you are not born with a fixed amount of resilience, like a muscle, you can build it up, draw on it when you need it. In that process, you will figure out who you really are and you just might become the very best version of yourself. And I love that. You guys, this is a picture of my daughter and I. Um, we have we have a gym in our house um, and we love to work out. We're like a we're like a health <clears throat> health and wellness family. We're like, like I said, I started out as a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor. My oldest son is 22. He's a um a personal trainer. Um, and this is my daughter Jaden, and she loves to work out. We love to work out all the time together. And I thought this was a really good picture to show like resilience and strength and um, really just what, what I'm all about when, whether it's in my gym, whether it's out for a run or it's in my doTERRA business, I am all about building up that, that, that muscle of resilience, right. Being resilient. And so that kind of brings me to this and, and you may have seen this belief, this belief pyramid before. Um, and so here we are, right. We're talking about silver club, right. We're in silver club. So some of you might be brand new. Um, some of you may have, maybe you've hit a, a rank in the past and you're like working to get back to that rank. Um, or, you know, maybe you've been silver and you slid back, whatever the case may be. I just love using this, vi this visual when it comes to belief, right? Because like I said, we have to have different belief in different things as we move up those levels our resilience and our belief has to change and it has to elevate um, in so many different ways. So when you come in at the very beginning, well, your belief, it's got to be in that product, right? Like you've got to believe in what you're going to be sharing with other people. And I'm sure that for many of you, your belief in the product is probably super strong, right? And it really doesn't even matter how long you've been in the business, you know, or you've been a wholesale, um, a wellness advocate. My guess anyway, is that your belief in the product is strong, right? And so then as you move up to that next level, well, now what do you need? Well, you need belief in doTERRA, okay? And I will tell you that there is absolutely zero reason for you not to have belief in doTERRA. doTERRA is, is a legacy company. They are built on a solid foundation. They have a solid commission structure and compensation plan, right? We have incredible executives. There are so many amazing things about doTERRA as a company. And I encourage you, if your belief in the company isn't there yet, it's not solidified, it's really, really difficult to move up in rank without having that solidified belief. So go back to this on a regular basis and say, like, where am I struggling? What rank am I struggling at? And when you're looking at the rank that you're at and the next rank that you're trying to get to, decide for yourself, have I met the belief that I need in each of these next levels? So you notice it's the product first, then it's the company. Well, guess what? When you get to silver, your belief has to be in you, right? Like you have to believe in what you're doing. So your product belief is there. Your company belief is there. Well, now you have to show up and believe in yourself because guess what? You know, we're talking about enrollments. I promise you, we're going to get to that, right? I'm just kind of building into this for you. But if you don't believe in you, you're going to have a really hard time, right? And then as you get to silver and then you're trying to move to the next rank, which is gold, guess what? You have to believe in your team, You've got to believe in those builders. So everything is going to build upon the next level of belief, right? And so that B, right? We're, we're working on our ABCs, right? As simple as it may sound, we've got to have the authenticity. We've got to have the belief, okay? So there's your B and your C. You guys, the C, all right, the authenticity, you got to have it. The belief, you got to have it. But guys, the C this is what it's all about. This is right here. I could just, I, I could talk to you guys for like the next couple of hours on consistency. I know I don't have the next couple of hours, right? And so I won't do that to you. But 
Consistency is key. I promise you that if you can get this part down, you are going to go as high as you want to go in doTERRA if you are consistent. So let's just look at the definition together and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Consistency is the quality or condition of being consistent. Actions that are done repeatedly in the same way over time. Okay. Now I'm going to share some like for real numbers with you. Okay. We're talking about enrollments, right? So I'm going to be real transparent with you and I'm going to talk to you about consistency. Okay. So here is what I want to share. These are real as of this morning. Okay. Um, and thanks to my husband for doing this um, because he is the numbers person. Okay. So I want to share with you guys what you're looking at. This is actually, we didn't start tracking until 2018. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I actually fisted my way to Diamond all on my own. My husband wasn't part of the business at all. I was literally doing this as a side hustle. Um, I literally fell in love with the business opportunity and I just wanted to teach and teach and teach and teach and share with everybody that I could. We have six children. I was literally always on some sort of field, whether it was a football field, a soccer field. My daughters both were competitive dancers. So I was always in an, it, somewhere that I could be talking about the oils. And I was, okay? And so what you're looking at right here. And so I, I shared that because I hit diamonds, right? I shared with you that I hit diamond in November of 2017. And then I became blue diamond almost exactly a year Later, it was a year and one day, okay, to, to the day I became Blue Diamond. And my husband stepped into the business right around the middle of 2018. So I was between Diamond and Blue Diamond. And he stepped in and he stepped in and his strengths are way different than my strengths are. You guys, I was not tracking anything. I was like, literally just like, yeah, I'm, this is what I'm doing. And he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, where's all the like Excel spreadsheets. I'm like, I don't have any Excel spreadsheets. I don't keep track of any of that. And he said, oh, sister, let's keep track. So this is what I'm looking, what you're looking at right here is July of 2018 through March of 2024. And these are enrollments for each month. Now, what I want to share with you is that obviously there is consistency. Obviously, there are, you know, there's peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. But the consistency there is in my lowest month, there was five enrollments, but I was always enrolling. I have never since I committed to the doTERRA business. Um, and I can say this to you with honesty. I have never missed a fast start. I never missed a fast start. OK, so the consistency is there. I'm always enrolling. So then I wanted to share this and I thought this was even cooler my husband did end of year total personal enrollments. So this is for um, 2018. I had 394 enrollments for the year. Then in 2019, I had 455. And then you see that drop there, right? That 455 to 293. Well, what happened there? <laughs> 2020, right? Nicole was trying to figure out how to pivot because Nicole, like COVID hit and I'm in person and I had a little bit of a like, oh, we need to pivot, right? Um, but what's really interesting is I had a huge year in 2019. The momentum was there. The love of the business was there. And it still is. Um, but when I went for my very first, I hit Blue Diamond in 2018. And I got to go to my very first Blue Diamond, Blue and Presidential Summit in January of 2020, right before COVID hit. It was in Hawaii. And I went to my very first summit. And the very first day, we started out with um, a presentation, and it was recognition. And I sat there as a first timer at the summit. I had just hit Blue Diamond, but months before, and they were doing recognition. And they called. They were doing a presentation for the top enroller of the company for the year 2019, and it was me. And I had no idea. I was literally shocked. I had no idea. They were like, there's, you know, she's sitting in this room and I had to go and accept this award. I was, I'm not a like in the spotlight type person in terms of recognition. Um, I was shocked. And so that's the year that 455, that was actually top enroller for doTERRA in 2019. Then you see that drop off again, you know, in 2020 there because of of COVID, right? But what I want to share with you is that look at the numbers 2021, 2022, and 2023. 
you'll notice 323, 325, 326. Those are the annual. You want to talk about consistency? That's pretty consistent year over year, right? Um, and so consistency for me is like the key to this business. You're always doing the mundane. And I consider the mundane. I'm going to move to the next slide. I consider the mundane like the things that are easy to do, but they're also really easy not to do, right? Like you're like, oh, I could do that tomorrow. I could follow up with those two people tomorrow. But you could do it now too, couldn't you? I could book another class. I could do that tomorrow or I'll do it next week. Um, yeah, you can, but do it now, right? We all have the same 24 hours. It's what you do with it that will determine your level of impact. So you need to choose wisely, right? And, you know, I hear people say all the time, you know, I don't have the time or I don't, you guys, I want you to know that when I first came into doTERRA as a business, it was back in 27, uh, 16, 17, right? I am a mom of six children. Now they're ages 16 to 22, but obviously they weren't, you know, take take that minus how, many, how long I've been doing. I had some, they were like elementary, middle and high school and we homeschool. And so I had a lot going on and I was also full-time health coaching. Um, and my husband was also full-time, you know, in, in, an, in another industry. And so we had a lot going on. And so it was really easy for me to say like, you know, I don't have time to do this. But what I decided when I went to that leadership back in 2017 is that I really, really wanted to do Diamond Club. And, you know, I have said this before in some of the calls that I've done, but me signing up and committing to Diamond Club was literally the catalyst for the entire rest of my doTERRA journey because I adopted what I did in Diamond Club and the requirements that were set for me in Diamond Club I held myself to those standards even when Diamond Club was over. I was like, okay, during Diamond Club, if I had that momentum going, right, because there's always momentum when you're in these leadership programs, if I have this momentum going like this now, why can't I continue with that? And so I was always making goals for myself that regardless whether I was in Diamond Club or not, or you know, in Silver Club or not, or in fill in the blank or not, I was always creating my own like requirements for myself in order to be able to move my business forward, right? And a lot of that just had to do with literally being consistent, showing up day in and day out. You know, when I think of consistency, sometimes I think of, you know, I have people on my team who like they'll post on social media when there's BOGOs and I'm like, oh, I guess they're still doing doTERRA. I didn't know they were still doing doTERRA, right? Like all of a sudden they just start spam posting because doTERRA has BOGOs or doTERRA is running a special or fill in the blank, right? You guys all know those people and and maybe this is stepping on some toes here, right? That's okay. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not everybody's cup of tea and I just like to say things like they are. That's not being consistent. If people don't know what you do, you know, I've taught classes where literally nobody has showed up. But guess what? I show up time and time again. I show up every single week to teach. I sing up, show up every single week to do continuing education. I show up every single week to do wellness consults. I show up every single week to do business overviews. I do it consistently. And when you do it consistently over time like that, your numbers are going to reflect like mine did and, or, and still do, right? And so it's being consistent always. Like if you slip back on anything, don't slip back on consistency. Okay. So a couple of things. Are you showing up consistently? No matter what your rank, you must be consistent. Okay. People will take you seriously when you are consistent. You know, when you only post every once in a while, like I said, I just said, like, are you a BOGO poster or are you, it's a specials going on. And they're kind of like, when you show up consistently and people know like, oh yeah, Nicole, she's been doing that forever. Like, People who know me, they know that I do, like, I'm into natural solutions. I'm a doTERRA girl. Like, people know what I do because I talk about it everywhere I go, right? And so be consistent about it, right? Decide what you want and then be intentional and disciplined about how you do it, okay? Pipes, you need to become an expert. And I know that many of you know that, right? Because you're in Silver Club. And so, of course, you're hearing about pipes over and over. But I can tell you as a leader who's been with doTERRA since, you know, 2016, 17 is when I kind of showed up as a, I want to do this intentionally. It's pipes. When people ask me, what's your secret? It's pipes. 
It's preparing, inviting, presenting, enrolling, supporting. Preparing, inviting, presenting, enrolling. Like you've got to do it over and over and over again consistently, okay? What's the most productive activity? I left it blank there, but I hope that in the chat, <laughs> you guys are writing enrolling. You have to enroll, right? The most productive activity is enrolling. It is not organizing your oils. It is not cleaning your office. It is not, you know, putting every, it, it's not doing those things that you can, you know, are, I'm going to work for an hour. And then it's like, but what are you doing for that hour? Are you doing income producing activities, right? Because you need to be enrolling. You have to always be in the trenches, okay? For me, luckily for me, like I, sh I showed you my strengths, right? And so I'm an achiever. And so for me, you know, having a really good enrollment month, it like, that like fires me up. I'm like, man, I gotta, I like gotta try and do better even, I gotta, you know, do even better next month. That's just the, like the way that I am, right? And so you, you just, you have to be consistent in showing up, okay? All right, next thing I wanna talk about because I know that I'm getting short here on time, probably. Um, oh, I'm doing okay. I just looked at the time. I'm doing okay. All right. Does anybody know? Can you guys put in the chat? Does anybody know what this means? SW, 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 SW. Does anyone know what it means? Can you guys put in the chat? I'm going to pull up the chat while you guys um, type. I just want to see if anyone knows what this means. Let me see if I can pull up the chat. Uh yeah, so I'm seeing some of you. Question mark, question. Mark. Good. Yep. Some of you, some of you know. Awesome. Good. Okay. Awesome. So some people do know. So for those of you who are like, nope, nope, nope. You guys, I was introduced to this a while ago. Okay. Um, and so for those of you who are like, nope, don't know what it is, this is some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting. S W, S W, S W, S W. Okay. And you know, it's it was um it's from a book called The Success Principle, how to get from where you are to where you want to be. And I think that this is such I have adopted this for a really long time, this philosophy. Okay. Some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting, right? You guys, this is the way that I've done my business. Okay. Um, and I think I have another thing. Yeah. Some people are gonna say yes, some are gonna say no. So what? Out there somewhere, someone is waiting for you and what you have to offer. It's simply a numbers game. So for those of you who are really, really struggling with asking, you know, somebody to attend a class or asking somebody to get started with natural solutions, this is what I want you to think about the next time that you feel that fear, okay? Because fear is a liar. It's a liar. And we have such a powerful product to share with people. Somebody out there, and I say this in every one of my team calls, in any every one of my opportunity calls, when I'm talking to people about why doTERRA, why now, okay? I'm going to say it here on this call. And you maybe if you've listened to me before, you've heard me before, or you've been on one of my calls, I've done tons of cross-line calls and whatnot. There is somebody somewhere praying for what you have. They're praying for an answer. And I think that all too often as wellness advocates, we think of ourselves in the business of sales. And, and we are in a way like I'm not, please do not hear me say that you're not selling a product. You are, okay? And sales are an important piece of this. But you really are in a, you are in the business of serving. Serving. You have to show up to serve. How can you serve the person that you're talking to because I'm going to tell you right here, right now, you have something that somebody has been praying for. They have been praying for a solution to their health concern. They have been praying for a solution to their financial situation. They have been praying for something that will give them hope with regards to their mental health, with their, their spiritual, it, something you have. Every single person that you talk to, that you connect with on a daily needs what we have to offer with our doTERRA products. So who are we to feel afraid to share that, right? To ask that person, are you open, right? Are you open to natural solutions? I hope that you guys all know that line already. I'm sure that 
for some of you, you're like, yes, yes, I've heard that before. Like, that's the question, right? But it is. Can I tell you that that's the question that with the numbers that I I shared with you, I was totally transparent and open with you, right? I literally gave you an inside view of my back office and what it looked like in terms of enrollments year over year, right? The number one question that I ask people is, are you open to natural solutions? Because when somebody says yes to that question, right? That's permission granting. You've now earned the right to share with them what you have, right? No more fear about, oh, I, I don't know if they can afford it. It's not, it's not up to you to decide what someone can afford. You know, it's crazy what people spend their money on these days, what people will consider a priority when it comes to their money, okay? It's not for, we don't get to decide that. It's not for me or for you or for anyone to decide what somebody can or can't afford when it comes to their health. And so what I do is I say to people, are you open to natural solutions? And the other thing that I use very, very often, it just it, you know, to, to share some of like my lingo, um, are you open to natural solutions? They say yes, right? There, there's your there's your open door. Okay. Um, the other thing that I will often say is. I want you to think of this as an investment, not as an expense. I want you to think of this as an investment. Are you willing to make an investment in yourself, in your health, in your family's health? When you pose it that way as an investment in their health, in their life, in their family's health, it makes them think it's I'm this isn't an expense. Please don't look at this as an expense. I want you to look at this as an investment. You're investing in your family's future because you're saying yes to these natural solutions. So you have to just you've got to switch that 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 posture in your mind and realize that you know you, they're open and you have something that can literally change their life. Whether it's financially, whether it's mentally, whether it's physically, whether it's fill in the blank, right? Some sort of, and I want you all to think of yourselves when you leave this call tonight, I want you to think of yourself as a solutions provider, not a salesperson. Get, take that cap off, right? Yes, we're in sales, absolutely. But take that cap off because I feel like that cap really, it, 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 it stifles us. We feel like we get like all choked up when it's like trying to like close that sale. It's like, I don't know what to say. I feel bad asking for money. I don't know if they can afford it. We get so caught up and it was so, it's very freeing um, for me. I don't have that issue ever when I'm teaching. I'm like, I'm here to help you. Like, let me go to the let me go to this next slide. I want to share this with you. I created a program for my team. And, and I'm just switching gears here a little bit because it's going into the cookie thing. Okay. This this cookie concept. Um, because I, I want to like kind of like close things out with just this idea and then we'll open it up for questions. I created this program for my team. It's called Share the Love. Okay. And it's and I love this Chinese proverb, proverb. It says, when someone shares something of value with you and you benefit from it, and I feel that if you're here on this call tonight and you're doing Silver Club, you have something that you've benefited from, right? Like you had an experience and you were like, man, I had this experience and I need to share it with other people. Okay, so the proverb says, when someone shares something of value with you and you benefit from it, you have a moral obligation to share it with others. Read it again. You have a moral obligation to share it with others, okay? So I want you to take off the cap of sales. I want you to put on the cap of natural solutions provider, okay? An obligation to share something that you have with other people. And I have these cookies here, right? This is my Share the Love program. But I have these cookies here. And you know, I just recently, someone shared a video and I was like, oh my goodness, because I use this, I've been using this program. I created this program, I think three or four years back in, in my team. And when I, when I talk to people about it, I always say, we have a cookie. Like we're the ones with the cookie jar giving the cookie to somebody else. You're holding the cookie jar. They're not holding the cookie jar. We often think of, like you're asking them for something, right? Like like you're asking them to buy the oils from you or buy the supplements from you and like they have the cookie. 
I want you to turn it around and remember that you're holding the cookie jar. You're the one that's giving the cookie because you have the something to give. You've got the cookie. And someone recently said something about this. They were they were referring to like the business opportunity, but you can use this cookie idea for anything, the business opportunity, the products, you as the wellness advocate, you as a silver club participant, you are holding the cookie jar with the cookies and you're the one giving out the cookies. You're not looking for cookies, you're the one giving them out. So you've got to you have to make that switch in your brain and it makes that close so much easier, like so much easier when you're like, yeah, I, I am, I'm the one who's giving them something. They're not giving me anything. And then if like all else fails, go back to the SW, 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 right? Some will, some won't. So what? Someone is waiting. There's another person waiting. So who cares? Like brush it off your shoulders move on because there's so many more people that are ready and willing to benefit from what you have to offer them. Okay. So I think, um, oh, this was just, I, I put this in here. You guys, I share this with everyone. I love, um, Brene Brown. And so I share a lot, um, from Brene Brown. So this is just, um, um, from Daring Greatly. If you've never read this book, this is an awesome book. It was just a suggestion. Um, and so I love Brene Brown. So that was just a suggestion. And the other thing that I just wanted to share is this, and then we'll just kind of open it up for questions. Today, I will do what others won't. So tomorrow I can accomplish what others can't. That's like one of my favorites. I, I love that quote. Um, and I just encourage you um, in your, you know, in your quest for, you know, running for silver. And then hopefully you guys are going to you know, you're going to finish out Silver Club and you're going to go into Diamond Club. And just remember, it's just a little bit of a shift in your mindset when it comes to enrollments. Remembering that you hold that cookie jar and some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting, right? So that's, I'm going to stop my share and I'll go back to just the regular here. And then you guys can um, ask questions. How's that? Any questions? Ooh, okay. We have someone uh, who asked a Nicole, question, oh. Nicole. Oh, okay. sorry, Hire. It's a. Uh, it's from Monette. She's asking, can you please give an example of your clothes? Sure. Um. So. So normally, what I do. Um you know, and there's a lot of different ways to do this. And it really will depend on the class that I'm teaching. I do a lot of just like, you know, natural solutions classes. Um, that's one of the classes that I love the most. Um, and what I've gotten really good at doing um, in my classes is I will send out a survey at the end because what I like to do is I actually like to do a personal close for the people who are attending. So I'll kind of do a soft close. And I know that this is not everybody's cup of tea, but I'll just share with you kind of how I do it. Um, I'll do a soft close. I'll just say there are a couple of different ways to get started with doTERRA. Um, and I will share some of the options depending on what it is that I'm with that I just finished teaching about, you know, so for instance, if I'm doing like a you know, live, live longer, live younger, longer class. Obviously I'm sharing about meta power. If I'm doing a natural solutions class, a lot of times um, I'll be promoting the um, healthy habits kit. Um, but what I really like to do at the end of all of my classes, whether it's a live in-person class, it's a zoom class. If I'm, if I'm teaching for somebody else, which I do that a lot now, I'm doing a lot of, you know, where someone else is hosting and I'll do a, what I do is I actually send out a survey at the end um, that they can click on. And it has a whole bunch of questions in there asking them about what are their top health concerns. That makes the close so much easier because then you can customize it for that person. Um, I feel like a personalized close is kind of like where we're at. Now, that being said, you know, oftentimes if I'm teaching a group, um, what I've done, I've used the link generator very, very strategically. I always have a printout that's got like the healthy habits kit with a QR code right on it so people can scan it and they can just check out themselves if they're at that live workshop. I do that a lot. Um, I do farmer's markets. I do all kinds of things. So a lot of stuff I already have like pre-made 
And then I also have QR codes um, and then texting. I use Project Broadcast for my texting. Um, so I have a lot of like keyword campaigns where people can text, you know, a certain word. Um, and I'll use that at the end of my classes. So when they text me, I know to send them that survey. Like they came to the class, here's the survey. They fill out the survey. Now, here's what I do with the survey too. I tell everyone who attends my classes, if you fill out the survey, you get entered to win the giveaway for the class. So now there's an incentive for them to fill out that survey because, well, maybe they're not going to get started, although my closing rate is, is pretty high. Um, but maybe they're not ready to get started, but they're still going to fill out the survey because they want to be entered for the giveaway, right? And so then they'll fill out the survey anyway because they've attended and now they want to be entered into that giveaway. So um, at least even if you don't close them, at that juncture, you have documentation that yes, they attended the class, this is the health concerns that they were interested in. Then for the follow-up, and we all know that the fortune is in the follow-up, right? We know in the follow-up, you know, Susie attended the class and these were Susie's, you know, three major health concerns. So when I go to follow up, I say, hey, Susie, it's Nicole. It was so great to meet you at my whatever class it was. I remember when you filled out the survey, this is what you said, you know, are you still struggling with these areas? Are you ready to, you know, do you want to get together for, you know, a one-on-one -on -one conversation? So my close is just going to depend on what class I'm teaching. A lot of people will enroll right there with my QR codes. And then I always encourage everybody at the end to fill out that survey. So then they, then I have that data collection and I can do all of my follow-up and you know, the beauty of that is I even ask them on the form, I will say to them, what is the best time to contact you? And so then you they're already telling you like, hey, contact, you know, I, I'm open in afternoons or weekends or whatever. And so they're giving me very specific information. So it makes my follow up with them very easy, which again, makes that closing rate that much higher because it's very specific to the person. I'm trying to read everything is coming in so fast. So I, it's, I'm not sure if you guys want to read a couple of questions to me, I, I'm happy to answer. I, I, it's coming in like super fast. So. Uh, yes. Um, there is a, a question. Um, let's see. Uh, Lips, uh, Pika is asking, is it online classes in person that you get the most enrollments from? Example, um, what is your top way? Oh, gosh. So at this point, it's it's in person. I do a lot of lunch and learns. I do a lot of networking. I do a lot of lunch and learns. So yes, I do a lot of live classes. I prefer to be in person, belly to belly. I'm like a, I'm a just, I, I like to teach, like teaching and enrolling is my favorite thing to do. So I really do like in line, I mean, in person classes. I don't do online social media at all, but I do teach Zoom classes because I do have, team in a lot of different areas. I've done networking with a lot of different groups and that has taken me outside of the state of Florida. So I do do a lot of Zoom classes and I find that with the Zoom classes, that's where that link where you're sending them that survey is, is easier because then you can have that connection with them individually. Because I feel like when people attend an online Zoom class, oftentimes they're, well, for me anyway, for me, because I'm not an online, I'm not an influencer. I'm not an online like I've never enrolled somebody through like like a DM or like I I don't even like I wouldn't even know how to tell you guys how to do that because I've never done it. Um, I've only done like Zoom classes and this kind of thing. So Zoom and then in person is my sweet spot. I'm not gonna lie, like in person is my thing. Um, I love teaching classes. I'll teach anywhere. I have absolutely no shame in teaching, no shame in asking for the sale because, like I said, I feel like we we're the ones holding the cookies. Right. <laughs> um, I think someone asked, someone asked, I saw a couple about the QR codes. So for you guys who don't know about the QR codes, when you use your link generator, okay, so I make, I make links, um, customized links using my link generator and I save them on the notes section in my phone so I can automatically send them to people. It makes it just a lot easier to do that. But when you use your link generator tool, you guys, if you do not know how to use link generator, please, please make sure you know how to use link generator because it is the most 
I, I had to do I had to do doTERRA before Link Generator was ever around. Okay, it was just paper enrollments and whatnot. Link Generator is literally it's like the number. I have a video. I'm happy to share it with how to use Link Generator. Um, I did it for a an eight weeks to elite group that I'm I'm mentoring and helping with. Um, Link Generator. Okay, when you create a link in there, one of the options is download the QR code for that for that particular um, kit. So what I do when I do um, events or classes, I will have, I don't do all of the kits because that's overwhelming. And the overwhelm, you know, someone who's overwhelmed is not going to enroll or get started. Okay. So I like the healthy habits kit. I like the home essentials kit. If someone just wants to get started with the oils, I usually go with those two kits in particular, healthy habits or home essentials. And what I do is I have those displayed and I have the price of the kit, what's included in the kit, and then the QR code from my link generator. So all they have to do is scan the code from that, I put it in a stand and they just have to scan the code and then they can do their enrollment all on their own while they're standing there. It's super, super simple. So, and, and that works for, you know, events, you can do um, farmer's markets, you can do lunch and learns, you can do, and it takes it off of you. You don't have to be like one-on-one -on -one with every single person, because if they just want to scan the code, they know what they want to get started with. You just send them to scan it, and then there they go. They're all set. Thank you, uh, Nicole. We have time for, let's say, two more questions. Uh, okay. One of them okay. is... How do you close at a farmer's market or event that is not a class? Um, okay, so what I like to do is I use Project Broadcast. Um, and so Project Broadcast is a is a is a texting service, but there's another, there, there are a lot of texting services out there. So what I really like to do is I like to create campaigns where people where people are basically opting into you texting them with information because the reality of it is what I have found is your main goal at those sort of events. I do farmers markets all the time. My main goal is to not sell people right there because most of the time they're not going to, you're not going to enroll somebody right on the spot. Now, has that happened? Yes. But what I try and do is I try and collect as much data from the people who come by my table. And then what I have is a, is a QR code that they can sign up for one of my online Zoom classes. So you want to get them to a class because you're not going to teach them a whole full-blown class right there, right at the farmer's market, because people are coming and going. You don't want to carry on these long 30-minute conversations because then you're going to miss everybody else that's coming by, right? So I have very specific things. I don't overdo it at a farmer's market. I have, I do have a um, an entry form for a giveaway because people love giveaways and they'll always fill out their information for a giveaway. So that's one way to data collect. You make sure that you have a giveaway right there so they fill out their name and their email address and their phone number. And then that way, if they don't text you or they don't scan your QR code for your Zoom class, you still have their entry into the, the giveaway. And so think of those events like farmer's markets or whatever, think of them as collecting leads as opposed to getting the, the enrollment right there. And uh, the last question that I have, unless any of the panelists uh, have any questions, uh, how do you encourage people to get on LRP? Oh my goodness. Um, you know, LRP is one of those things I always go back to. Some won't, some, some will, some won't, you know, um, LRP is, it's, it's a hard thing, but what I, my, my pitch with LRP and I talk about it every single class that I do, I teach every single week. So I have a, you know, some sort of, we call it wellness Wednesday in my community. Everybody calls it something different, right? But I do a wellness Wednesday segment and it's always on something different. And what I like to do in those, in those classes is I always like to say the very best way to order your product is through the loyalty rewards program. It's free. That doesn't cost you anything to get in it. It, it gives you a percentage back on all of your orders. You are you can qualify for free shipping. You can qualify for a, pre, a free product. It is the very best way to order your doTERRA products. Please reach out and I will help you get started on this program. And so I keep it super simple. Um, the reality is, you guys, again, you're offering something to people that's like amazing. Like you have to sell it that way. Believe in the program. 
use the program yourself. And then it makes it that much easier to talk about it. And again, do I have everybody on LRP? No, because not everybody is going to commit to loyalty rewards. Just They're just not. It's, it's, it's the nature of the beast, right? But some will, some won't. So what? Someone else is waiting, right? Like, just keep going. Like, don't let that 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 pull you down, right? I mean, we know LRP, we know loyalty rewards is important. Um, but I talk I, it's very very simply with the with to answer the question. I talk about it every single thing that I do. So when I'm announcing the promos for the month, I'm talking about loyalty rewards. When I'm talking about promotions, I'm talking about loyalty rewards. When I'm talking about my classes, anytime I do a class. I'm talking about the loyalty rewards program. Get that template set up and make sure that the way that you're ordering is through that loyalty rewards program. Because if you're not, that's not the best way to be ordering product. I just keep it simple. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for your time, for sharing all of those golden nuggets with us. Uh, we are so happy to have you with us. Like a uh, I know we have so many questions on the <laughs> chat because, you know, we have people asking questions, but just want to tell, uh, so you guys know, we are going to record, this call is being recorded and we are going to share the call on Facebook. We will send it to you guys. We will send you the link so you can learn more if you didn't have the chance to uh, get on time to participate in the meeting. So don't worry about that. Is going to be recorded. And another one, another thing that I want to recommend to you guys is please reach out to your project managers, right? If you are having zero enrollments, if you are if you need someone to help you to come up with ideas, to cheer you, you know, to cheer you on or anything, reach out to us. We are here for you guys. So we are one of the biggest resources you have, guys. And we are here waiting for you guys. To connect we want to connect with you again thank you everybody for being in this call thank you nicole uh believe me i'm your biggest fan so oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you I am. you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for having me it was a it was an honor really the honors the pleasure is mine okay but thank you everybody thank you nicole i just wanted to add a small little message here as well hi year um but before I do that, I also want to just send my huge, huge, huge mahalo to Nicole again. Um, I hope all, all of you enjoyed her call. Like, like I said, she is just full of amazing information and just um, she is a gem. And we are just so grateful to have her, not just here at Leadership Programs, but just to be one of our amazing leaders here at doTERRA, period. So thank you. I feel like we all have learned from you, not just our participants and mentors, but we here in leadership programs have learned so much from you. And I was busy taking notes as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Nicole. Of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> to all of our amazing participants, I know I mentioned at the beginning about our education week. And just so you know, we did send out an email to all of you um, earlier um, with some links and, and so on and so forth regarding that. Um, and regarding our giveaways as well, because we we're doing a fun little quiz to give out some fun prizes. And so just so you know, the 100% that we mentioned um, on the quiz is just for the multiple choice. So as long as you get 100% on the multiple choice section, then your name goes into that fun drawing for those giveaways. And so I just wanted to make that um, small addition. Uh, note here but thank you everyone for being on this call I hope everyone has um, a great weekend and like how you said we are here for you so please reach out if we can be of any assistance we are just grateful to be on this journey with all of you so thank you and we will see you all later goodbye Bye.